I understand you as a man uh, of high conviction and high opinion. And in the same breath, you say that it's very, very vital to accept when you are wrong and change tacks as well. Are you a lot more nimble footed than what maybe and how important would the nimble footedness be in, in investing as well as in trading? Well, I'll say two separate views. Trading is they put up but lay put up. So trading, you have to take very short term decisions. Right? Because, you know, you cannot, you, for trading, you need three things. You need, there are only two horses, bull and bear. Right? So you need, you need to have a broad, you know, broad idea of the market. Don't try to be too expert. This will go up by 5%. This will go about, you can know the trend. You can't know the depth. Right? So have a broad direction of the market, follow the trend, know what to do, what to risk, and know when to take a loss. You know, Churchill has said, you have to lose many a battle to win a war. So if you're wrong, you're wrong. Right? We will fight, we will live to fight another day. And in trading, I, I, in investing, I invest with great conviction. Right? I give it a lot of time, sometimes more than I should. But if I'm wrong, I accept. What's wrong? I'm not. I'm not afraid to make a mistake. I only want to make what one which I can afford. So I may live to make another one. So I'm not. I mean, uh, there is nothing like. But if you have patience, your patience will be tested, but your conviction will be rewarded. But you can't wait for eternity for that. Okay. And remember one thing. Markets are always right. If you feel market is not right and you are a market setter and you are a, you are a boss, you know everything, boss, you'll, be, you'll end up in Jumri Okay. Okay. That, that's uh, that, coming from you. That's a uh, telling, telling point as well. No, I've Just, made so many mistakes in life. Yes. I've made so many mistakes in life and no regrets. Your yeah. life is about learning and not about regrets. Only thing is I should learn from the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, maybe at some point of time, I'd love you to maybe if you can, and if you feel like illustrate, maybe one of those things, but just one follow up question, Mr. Junjunwala. Um, I, I've heard you once in one of your previous interactions talk about how uh, any great investment would be a factor of a few, uh, a combination of a few factors, including the study, the conviction that one has, and patience, as you rightly said, patience will be rewarded. What do you reckon is the most important ingredient for a young mind to start inculcating in her or him in order to be successful at this act? First, they should love markets. They should be passionate about markets. They should have some idea of financial statements. They should have more wisdom and less intelligence. Remember, it's an act of wisdom, not an act of intelligence. Plus, you will realize that, see, you're living in a future. The future is going to be uncertain. Right? So how you assess the future, right, is how well you will invest. And also, you know, I think people make a lot of mistakes because they don't want to acknowledge them. They feel market is wrong, they are right. And I think without passion, we should have curiosity. And remember one thing, everything in the world affects markets. And never forget, it's nothing but human psychology, which has, which has prevailed right from the Stone Age. And no technology and no artificial intelligence is going to be able to change it. Because finally, it is human intuition. And knowing what to risk and don't trade with your mother's money and your father-in-law's money and your husband's money. Right? And remember one thing, it is fire. You are entering fire. Be vigilant. It's not so easy to make money in markets. And it's more and more difficult to retain it and grow it. And, you know, you should know what to risk. And I think, you know, someone says we will buy 500 shares. No amount of shares are small. And, you know, I find, I see a lot of ladies here. They, you know, ladies, in my opinion, are both financially, emotionally better than men. And they find, you know, because women are, in India are brought up with frugality. Yeah. So, you know, was retain that, you know, that helps when you think about financial matters. 
your attitude should be that if you alternative investments give you 6 7% return equity gives you 14 to 18% return you are a king in 18% return your money doubles in 4 years in 6% return it doubles in 12 years so understand the difference between 6 and 18 and for myself if i get 18% return on my portfolio i am a king if i get 21% i am emperor as an i target 